what is up you know this day was inevitable and ever since my dr fate video which a lot of people enjoy one of the most powerful sorcerers of dc it was time to do the powerful sorcerer of marvel known as dr strange the sorcerer supreme in his classic days and in his modern days he's a threat and a force to be reckoned with but everybody pretty much agrees that in his classic days he was on crack still and he was crazy powerful for no apparent reason shouldn't even really put in much debates unless it's against abstract type people that's how overpowered he actually was I actually prefer the the not as OP version just for writing purposes and for like it's one of those things where he has so many abilities. It's like, oh, why did he just do this in this situation or blah 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 blah. Like you ever see? Have you ever seen a story where a character is so powerful and then they lose in a scenario and you're wondering in your head, but I don't, but you don't say it out loud, but you're wondering why didn't he just do this? Like a, a power he did in another story, but the writer might have forgot in a new story because he has so many. You know what I'm saying? So it can get a little tough to write. Inconsistency kind of does kind of make me cringe, but. I'm not saying Doctor Strange's classic days was inconsistent, but I'm just giving you an idea. Like, but yeah, for writing purposes. But yeah, how strong is classic Doctor Strange? I'll more than likely be doing more video about Doctor Strange in the future. Probably this will not be my last one. Just like how the Doctor Fate video won't be my last one. Pretty much knows some ridiculous spells. Notice he has the book known as the Vishanti, and these Vishanti are beings that looks over sorcerers and all this good madness and good stuff. But let's get right into classic Doctor Strange's power. I'll more than likely be doing modern, more closer to today's time Doctor Strange in the future. But let's get right into it. So basically, he's the best. He's just good with magic and feet run over. I'm just kidding. <laughs> am your new lord and master. I am Doctor Strange. Being a sorcerer and being a magic person of the mystic arts, he has a long list of magical spells he knows. And thanks and due to the magic nature, it's pretty much limitless potential because, you know, when it comes to magic, you can just be like, oh, he can just write it. The writer can just decide to make a spell up for a story if he wants to because it's his writing and his he has power over it. And magic is one of the most versatile things. So it's like, why not? You know, not on, on top of that, he has a ridiculous amount of magical uh, standard gear that makes him even more dangerous too. Like you know how people say, "Oh yeah, Iron Man standard gear is his battle suit," because that's what makes him Iron Man. One can say that for a classic Doctor Strange is his uh, standard gear is a part of him, so that's what makes him so powerful. So it wouldn't necessarily be outside help if it's standard gear. So standard gear like Eye of Agamotto and etc. are allowed. Doctor Strange is one of those characters, well, since he has superpowers, people automatically assume, well, you don't need fighting skills or you don't have fighting skills at all due to this, but this is actually considered false. Doctor Strange is actually a pretty decent martial artist on top of his mystic art training, so he can't, he's not defenseless without his magic, even though magic is his main means and most deadliest means to fighting. He's no amateur at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Being debatably one of the most versatile beings on the planet, uh, being a magical sorcerer at his level, of course he has like different constructs he can conjure up and spells like protective shields. Naturally, he has the power of flight, obviously, thanks to his cloak of levitation, and he more than likely, there's probably a spell from the fly too if he didn't have cloak of levitation, let's be real. He has this ability known as astral projection. This is really famous when it comes to social type of people. Like he has the ability to literally like leave his actual physical body, like his soul self. This could actually help him like stay alive if he needed to, I guess. Some can say this is like a soul self. A lot of magic users use this, like Raven from Teen Titan, Dr. Fate, etc. A lot of people use astral projection to be able to go places and be a versatile threat on the battlefield. This is also a means of a physical being not being able to hit you. Unless you have like, you know, hex to this or resistance to this or something. Like some characters do. It's kind of like a ghost form. Most people shouldn't even be able to see you in this state. Naturally, one of his many spells, we saw this in Infinity War, the movie, is actually he can make that allow him to cast illusions. This can be really good trick. We're fighting another magical being like beings like Loki. He has some type of magical spell to where it can invoke things to where even Galactus looks like fearful, making him see even Galactus see illusions. This is broken. Studying the Book of Ashanti, he has a lot of different elements he can use. He can pretty much use every element known to man, one of them being wind. There's these things called the Winds of Watoom. Like I literally just told you, he has like a, pretty much a spell for almost every element, like wind. He even can project fire. What's a magic user not be able to use all the elements? Because magic users are supposed to be versatile. And if you're not, if you can't use fire and ice and other energy projection type elements, you're not versatile, evidently, right? So he has flame projection, one of his many spells, offensive attack. And then, oh, well, you know, he has these things called magical energy blasts. Like, he can, like, magic is, like, a thing you can study, and it's actually an energy source, too, you can actually use as a weapon. 
Okay, the thing that probably makes Doctor Strange the, one of the most dangerous things is that being it, his ability to be able to summoning things in the middle of combat, like even like when it comes to outside help, like most scenarios, outside help is considered, oh, you got to go call a friend, go get him. It takes time. It's prep time. But Doctor Strange is a little different. He can literally call people like or beings or weapons to help him on the spot thanks to his magical nature. Like he can literally summon things to himself thanks to magical nature of being able to teleport things to him. Like he can literally use weapons like Crimson Bands of Sidorax to contain really powerful beings and beings that are super duper strong that are physically a lot stronger than him physically. Naturally he has telekinesis. He has the ability to hypnotize. He has hypnotism, a very hexy character. Of course he has telepathy, right? What what he, he he's not deadly enough with all this stuff. He has telepathy on top of it. Goodness gracious. All these different hacks he got, and he can even attack your mind. Great. Just what we need. And what do you know? He has the ability to teleport. And he has the ability to time travel. Great. And he technically has immortality. I know I'm getting right into the nitty gritty really fast, really high end stuff pretty quick, right? But hey, what can I say? He doesn't have that many low showings. He has means of defeating you via battle for removal. Not my favorite type of win types, but yeah, he if he can he can actually do this via incantation, banishing beings. He banished this demonic living house to a, a different timeline continuum or something. During his many fights with other sources like Baron Mortal, he can get W's on characters like Baron Mortal, overpower beings like Baron Mortal and magic of skills and out magic him, whatever that means. And it was a time he even battlefield removed him, defeating him and banishing him to the far sides of the universe. As you can see here, like he literally banished him to a far sense of the universe. Did I mention that his telepathy is so powerful it can even overpower beings like Umar, Dormammu's sister, like the actual abstract being, Skyfather, plus, plus, plus level being? Tell me why he has a spell to the point where he can what, generate sound to the point where create a magnetic vortex. It emanates endless, overwhelming vibrations of pure energy, a sound beyond a very fabric of sound itself. How does that freaking work? He caused the entire time, like the time to freeze across the entire planet Earth, like just stop time. I know I keep bringing up his standard gear, but he has like basically power nullification to where his eye of Agamotto can swallow opposing magic and like make it into nothingness, like basically like nullifying it and making it useless. He has like, like spells like sealing to the point where he can literally seal up beings in a magical bubble to nullify magical abilities. Okay, not only can he forcibly like actually like remove your astral spirit out of your body like manually like he can like give me your soul like he can do that he can like do this to other beings as well demonic spirits literally destroy actual spirits of stuff so like ghosts like if a ghost like casper the friendly ghost tried to fight him he would just like kill he could kill the ghost so here's the thing dr strange has kind of absurd regeneration one of his many battles with the characters like dormammu skyfire level beings he was evidently able to regenerate after his essence was completely obliterated as you can see right here it says right here am i dead because if i'm dead who or what is that's asking this question and if i'm dead why does my nose itch and what's weirder i can't find my nose anymore it's stated here it has taken all my power to reconstruct our physical form in a place outside the physical yeah, I'm just going to let these scans speak for themselves. Yeah, he has ridiculous regeneration to the point, yeah. It's more than likely a backup spell to where if I ever died, I need to, you know, body does this. Not only that, he regenerated himself and his buddy Spider-Man. They stayed with trapped inside time and space. Yeah, Doctor Strange, if he doesn't want to die, he, he's not going to die. It even shattered the essence across multiple realms, so he still can't, like, what? With his amulet, another thing of his standard gear, evidently, he can, like, uh, emulate light. He can, yeah, he has light projection. So, yeah, he can basically shoot beams of light if he wanted to. He even has spells to where he can paralyze people. Of course he would, right? Um, How do you do this? Like, he even has elemental abilities to where he can cast spells to where he can cast smoke manipulations. He can cast mist. What can't he do? He can even absorb life force energy, like absorbing this demon's life energy, like absorbing it. Yeah, it's crazy. He has pretty good resistance to reality warping. There was this being that was trying to collapse him with reality warping. And like, he was able to put himself back together with an incantation. He has definitely resistance to reality warping. Remember this time in a fight with Zom? Remember this being I keep bringing up in my videos? This dude, like he siphoned off this dude's energy to fight the Hulk in one of the old newer comics or World War Hulk comic. You know what I mean? Zom made him, Zom put him in a maze of madness. He was able to escape even though he was a nameless, shapeless near Lily. As you can see here, he says the spell in the name of the eternity of Ashanti and the eternal Vashanti by the omniscience of my departed mentor that the distortion cease. Like just by simply saying a spell like that, he can resist being erased from existence. If that makes any sense. There's been times where he has resisted being erased 
to nothingness by Dormammu on multiple occasions. Fighting Dormammu on multiple occasions, a very powerful being I made a video about, by the way. He even has uh, spells that counter transmutation resistance. There's this being trying to actually transmutate him. He resisted it. So yeah, he had like a little scuffle with Inbetweener. He's actually able to bring his, what, sanity back? Even though he was driven to madness by this abstract level being that should be comparable to top tier beings like Galactus. And he came back from this. Thanks to his standard gear, like the Eye of Agamotto, which can control time, absorb magic and make it into nothingness the eye of agamotto can actually protect him against all types of radiation if the other stuff wasn't enough the eye of agamotto is a deadly standard gear artifact magical weaponry there's other magical beings in the world of dr strange at marvel there's beings that have actually sealed dr strange he's actually able to break free of their seal thanks to astral projection and break the seal and etc this spell that nightmare did was like what quote unquote powerful beyond imagining his cloak has fire invulnerability or heat elemental invulnerability evidently. It was okay after being hit by fire. Gotta love it. He was in this dimension of unreality. Now we're getting into the attack power stuff. As you already know, he's extremely hexy. But let's get into some of his attack power stuff. Like, you know, being able to blast beings with raw blunt force and stuff like that. Energy projection. What? Who can he hurt with extreme levels of durability type stuff. And speed, combat speed, flight speed, etc. That cool stuff. He was in this unreality. He fought a whole bunch of clones of powerhouse people. As you can see here, it was Namor, Hulk, and etc. He defeated like a bunch of these beings as well. Probably more that we can't see in the scan. And I do believe that is Black Bolts. Unknown if they were at their true power levels here though. Even if they were, I mean, he's classic Doctor Strange. I mean, you know. Doctor Strange fought this being known as, I don't know how to say his name, Stygiro, who had a literal star form. Like a literal star, like Dr. Strange was like fighting a literal star, made his star form go supernova and like hurled it into a black hole. Uh, yeah. Star level bare minimum, just like with the black hole level beings, casual raw power feet right here. As for speed, it's a good way to really understand Dr. Strange's speed by comparing him to other sorcerers that should be comparable to him in power, like sorcerers like the ancient one. The ancient one has microsecond reaction time, being able to die something in this level of speed. Doctor Strange should be comparable in this level of speed as well. With his telekinesis, he can do cool stuff like, like literally move stuff, like causing moons to explode and stuff like that. Like, like work to him, right? Making it rise and explode. You're probably wondering, well, the thing about Doctor Strange is that he has to actually do hand signs and stuff and spells to protect himself. So one could say, since he does have human level durability, if he doesn't have any type of magical shields, Crimson Bands of Sidorak up, couldn't you just speed blitz Doctor Strange and that's the end of it? Well, not exactly. I mean, being a sorcerer on his level, don't you think he had precautions for something that simple? Not only that, his reaction speed should be up there too, thanks to his, you know, martial arts training. He's a martial artist in Marvel, and then he should have comparable combat speed to Ancient One, who has died stuff in the microsecond himself. Not to mention lower tier characters has died stuff in the microsecond as well. Not only that, he consistently reacts to beings that are massive, fast, and light, like Silver Surfer. Like, you know, if that was such a real occasion, why does a character like Silver Surfer just blitz him and never be the end of it? He can easily react to characters like Silver Surfer. He should be massive and fast and light when it comes to combat speed and reaction time. But let's say, for instance, even if he was slow, right? Like a lot of people probably are assuming he has to do spells in order to protect himself. Some, somebody could just blitz him, right? That's what some would say, right? But here's the thing. He has invisible automatic shielding, right? So thanks to the Eye of Agamotto being always like, it's like kind of like a living being kind of. Being hit by a blast like this should have killed Dr. Strange if he didn't have any type of shielding. So he does have levels of durability to his magical artifacts and things like that. Another statement of nanosecond reaction time here, it states here, I wrote, I wrote clear by the barest fraction of a microsecond, stating he has combat speed. As you see here, it says he has an invisible shield of everlasting enchantment absorbed most of the blast. Yeah, he does have automatic shields. He does have enhanced durability. A sorcerer with this level of intellect and knowledge knows there's fast beings in this universe. There wouldn't be such a simple way to beat him like blitzing, right? By the way, this being that blasted him does have the power to you know, hurl stars, right? Fleek consistent with the beings in Marvel and the beings he consistently fights, like Silver Surfing, etc. Dude, Doctor Strange is already madness. He already has ridiculous standard gear like the Eye of Agamotto and stuff like the Cloak of Levitation. He has automatic shields that protect him against people that just want to blitz him or people that say he's slow, even though he does have massive fast like combat speed based on the people he fights and stuff. He's even more dangerous thanks to his intellect and magical knowledge with prep time. With prep time, he can do absurd stuff with magical artifacts and spells. And Doctor Strange with rituals and prep time is able to tap into the life force of others and wielding the supposedly quote-unquote elemental power of the life force itself. This is madness. 
which is described as infinite, totality, beautiful beyond comprehension, a power capable of shaping or shaking a universe. Universal level displays of power here, stated here, universal level of power. The part that makes Doctor Strange so deadly in raw power, he fought this abstract being that's Galactus level, like in the betweener. I have a video about Galactus just to show how powerful this guy is. He was fighting this being. He's able to like channel the power of cosmic beings like chaos and order to help him in combat. Beings this freaking powerful to help him in prison characters like the in-betweener. This is the part that makes him very deadly. Being able to what well, like pretty much call on outside help instantaneously to where it's not really outside help. You know what I mean? Don't get this confused with the Chaos King. I'm talking about Lord Chaos. An abstract being, an ab being that has abstract existence. You know the embodiment of disorder, randomness, and formlessness? Chaos? Like, yeah, this actual being. He, summoned, he can summon and get aid in the middle of battle with these type of beings. That's the part that makes Doctor Strange very scary. Marvel has had several instances where they organize the different level beings in the universe. You see on the very bottom, you got characters like Galactus. Like, they organize it from tiers. Like, you see, like, the bottom is in between there, Galactus, you know, even Skyfathers. And then you got above them, you got Chaos. That guy looks familiar, right? That guy, the, the being classic Doctor Strange used in battle. Yeah, that guy did above them is Eternity and Infinity. You got the Living Tribunal. There's been multiple scans of this throughout comics where you see, like, the different top dogs in marvel like just to give you a visual organization of how marvel hierarchy works yet dr strange was able to like basically call on aid in battle from beings up there like on this level so now you see why this is madness him being able to just literally call on beings this powerful to make it worse he can call on help from beings like master order another cosmic abstract being embodies order discipline law structure the brother of lord chaos no i'm not playing dr strange can literally call on the help and power of these beings in the middle of combat did this to the in-betweener in the process of doing this madness to make it worse about that the strange that makes him even more scarier he can even merge with abstract entities like a fusion technique type stuff by uniting his body and soul and whatever you call it his essence by actually uniting with the actual universe itself causing him to become one with all he can feel different dimensions more than just one being in this state, merging with eternity. He can even forcibly merge with beings if he has to. Like, yeah, your, your body's mine and your power's mine. Doing this to this demon, forcibly merging to it. He states that he's not even finite. Did this to a being that's not even quote unquote finite, implying that he thinks he's infinite. This demon evidently dwarfed Mephisto in power, stated right here. Like, whoa, he can just forcibly merge with beings like this. And this is one feat that often gets overlooked. He has so many artifacts he collected. And if he gets the time to collect them all, he can even use all of his magical artifacts combined into one to, um, he was able to kind of counteract the balance temporarily of the infinity gauntlet with all his gems, evidently. That's, uh, with all his magic artifacts together, that like he states here from wines and scrolls of Watum, from books of Ebon and Vajante and Darkhold, from gems which are purple and gems which are two in one, from the twin treasures of Agamotto, an outpouring of power against power, absolute madness. And do I even need to go over how powerful the Infinity Gauntlet is? So basically with prep time, Dr. Strange can have the power of what? An Infinity Gauntlet evidently? I mean, just think about it. The Soul Stone by itself contains its own what? Multiverse? So Dr. Strange with prep time is kind of a threat. I'm not saying he's completely equal to the Infinity Gauntlet, but I mean, he was able to match the power temporarily. And we already know what Thanos did with the Infinity Gauntlet against all these cosmic beings. Thanos literally like toyed with all these abstract concept beings like Sky Fathers, Celestials, one above all Celestial. Oh, not the one above all, one above all, you know. Thanos was able to do this to Galactus, in between her, Lord Order, Lord Chaos, Master Chaos, you know, that type of sort of thing. That this gives an idea of the Infinity Gauntlet's power. I mean, for Pete's sake, Infinity Gauntlet users actually can defeat Eternity with ease. Just to let you know. To temporarily match the power of it, it, it it's a feat. I don't care if it was like 1% the power or 0.1111111% of the power of Strange did. All his artifacts combined. It does kind of make so much sense based on all the feats that I've just shown you by Dr. Strange and his standard gear devices can do. If he used them all at once with prep time and combined all that power, I can possibly see that happening. 
But guys, that is just about gonna do it for my Dr. Strange Classic Feet Run. Hopefully, I will do another one soon. I'm starting to outline as we speak for the modern one. But yeah, the newer one like leads up to 2019 and stuff like the newer stuff. And probably like what five years back, 2014, 15 range, even some in 2008 with the Hulk. You know, I guess that could be considered modern too. It's a little up in the air what's considered modern, not modern, etc. But yeah, I'll get to that later. But yeah, Dr. Strange is a beast. Thanks to his magical artifacts, he has auto shoes that protects him, gives him enhanced durability, so you can't just blitz him. On top of that, he has a great reaction time to be able to fight people like Silver Surfer. He's consistently shown to be on the level to the point where he can fight powerhouse beings. And then he can even amp himself even more to the universal levels or even higher than that with prep time. Thanks to be able to summon actual abstract beings to aid him in combat like Lord Chaos, Lord Order, and etc. To be able to blast beings like Inbetweener and imprison characters like Inbetweener. Even overpower, even forcibly merge himself with beings that are above Mephisto evidently and Shumagrath and Crazy Madness. Stuff like that. Like, he literally has a spell for almost everything you can think of. In a weird way, he's got one of those power. He's one of those beings where it's like, how does he ever lose again? Because it's like, dang. Like, he has every ability you can pretty much think of. <laughs> it's like the, writer, like the writer would have to conveniently make him lose for a story for him to really lose legitly. You know what I mean? Like, he's one of those people. Like, yeah, he's over-freaking-powered. Like, to be able to just call on the aid in the middle of battle of... Lord Chaos and Master Order, you can just siphon off their power and they can help you in battle. That makes you really a threat because it's like, dang, is this outside help or is this one of his power sets? I mean, because it is his ability, magic, to be able to like siphon off beings and use the power of these beings and stuff. Merge with abstract entities like Eternity and all this crazy stuff. Is that even outside help? Like, I don't know. Like, it's, it's a part of his power set. He has all this knowledge from the Fashati, those crazy beings that are super powerful that look over sorcerers. Hard to really rank where these guys are, but like, yeah, these guys look over Doctor Strange too. So it's like Doctor Strange got a lot of people looking out for him, you know what I mean? I mean, for Pete's sake, Doctor Strange, with all of his relics combined, was able to temporarily match the power of Adam Warlock with the Affinity Gun. Like I said, I'm not saying he was equal to him, even with all these artifacts, but it's just something that's to be noted. He counter, well, he quote unquote counteracted the balance of the, the Infinity Gun, you know what I mean? All the stones. One stone like the Soul Stone could take his own multiverse, just for an example. Just to give an example of each of their power, and that's all the stones in one. Yes, I know I had didn't go over every single feat Doctor Strange has, but I wanted to get right into the nitty gritty because there's a lot of feats in the. He can be a little complicated, you know, so I went right into the nitty gritty, but I hope you guys enjoyed this classic Doctor Strange feat run. Um, I will more than likely be doing more Dr. Strange in the future, but what do you guys think? Do you guys think he's overpowered? Do you think he's just right? Do you think he's cool? Do you think a lot of these feats were outside help feats because he summoned the power of other beings? I mean, it's part of his power set, I'm just saying. But even then, it's like he still has ridiculous feats like fighting actual living star-sized things or stars and making them go supernovas and things like that. Beating clones of powerhouses, beating a perfect clone of Silver Surfer, fighting characters like the Silver Surfer, etc. And stuff like that. Overpowering characters like Dormammu on occasions, resisting attacks from characters like Dormammu, consistently fighting characters like Dormammu. Like, it's, it's like that's his threat. Like, you know, then the fact he can merge with abstract entities, he can forcibly merge people, he can like do hacksy stuff like literally pull your soul out, give me your soul, come here type of thing. But what do you guys think? Post your comments down below, let me know what you all think. Did you, is there some stuff about Dr. Strange in here you didn't know? Did you know he had auto shields? You probably didn't know that. So no blitzing because he has the ability to that. But Eye of Agamotto is a standard gear. Same with Cloak of Levitation. These things give him elemental resistance and they give him immunity to a lot of different things. Heck, his Eye of Agamotto, he can even absorb magic and make it into nothingness. Like how do you even counteract that? You know what I mean? But until then, I'll see you guys next time. So hope you guys enjoyed this feat run of Dr. Strange. Respect the Sorcerer Supreme.